The student approached the teacher and asked her, how are we to treat the other? And the teacher said, there are no others. I love that story because it helps us to see our interconnectedness, that we are all one, something that is a practical reality, but also a spiritual reality. And it's the heart, I think, of what Jesus wants us to see and honor in our lives. The women are meeting tomorrow on retreat, and I invite you to hold that retreat and hold the women who will be participating in it and in your prayers, uh, for they will be exploring this connection, the connection between God, self, and other. And there's a oneness that moves through all of it, for God is part of it all. And so today I want to invite you um, to open your eyes and your heart to this reality. And I want to share a prayer that uh, I discovered on the, on the website of the Center for Action and Contemplation. And uh, may it lead you into this day, um, into a day of prayer and reflection. Let us pray. God, Lord of all creation, lover of life and of everything, please help us to love in our very small way what you love infinitely and everywhere. We thank you that we can offer just this one prayer and that will be more than enough because in reality, everything and everyone is connected and nothing stands alone. To pray for one part is really to pray for the whole. And so we do. Help us today to stand for love, to stand for healing, to stand for the good, to stand for the diverse unity of the body of Christ and all creation. Because we know this is what you desire as Jesus prayed that all may be one. And so we offer our prayer together with Christ our Lord. Amen.